Hey, what's up everybody? EXO coming at you here with some more goodies from Parts Express. Getting everything in order for our home audio setup. The little budget build there. I picked up some more stuff from the clearance center. So I don't even know what this top box is because I threw in a whole bunch of random stuff and some of it didn't get shipped off. So let's go ahead and get it open because I am really excited. I got some uh, some little subwoofers on the way for the uh, tower setup. These just actually might be them. A couple of eights per tower should do the job. I'm not going to be throwing but more than 50 watts per speaker. Oh boy. What are these? What are these? Okay, it looks like these are the speakers for the center channel. I went ahead and got some more different ones. Oh, these are good looking guys. Look at that. These are going to be for the center channel. As you can see, they're slightly different than the other ones. They have a little inverted dust cap there. Nice little seamless glue job. You can't really see with the camera angle, but it looks uh, pretty damn good. I'm going to be uh, looking forward to hearing what these sound like too. Oh, cool. They have like a little rubber like a little aesthetic rubber piece around the whole thing. That's kind of cool, I've never seen that before. So here's our uh, some more fives for our center channel. We got some more uh, speaker terminals here, just a little, I think it's like a two inch cutout, really simple, like a dollar each. So I said, screw it, I'm gonna get like five or six. More speakers, I'm just gonna pull these out. More of these, I think I got uh, six of these. The bottom cabinet's gonna be tuned anywhere between like 45 and 50 hertz. But it's actually going to play pretty high, so um, I'm going to be crossing it over slightly higher than you would imagine. Because a lot of the times, bigger speakers sound really good on vocals. Oh boy, oh boy, woohoo! Here's the eights, nice! They packaged them up pretty damn well too. I'm anxious to see these things because uh, they didn't have very many reviews on it, if these are the ones I'm thinking of. And they just seem too good to be true, they're ten bucks each. Can't beat that, guys. I love the clearance prices over there. Oh boy, there they are. Oh, cool. It's got like a like a fabric for a cap. That's like a very. It's almost like shit. I, I wouldn't. I don't even know how to explain that. It's like velvety. Uh, weird. I like it a lot, though. Really cool. These are the ones that are gonna be playing. Just the just the moderate bass, guys. I didn't want it there to be overwhelming thump in the towers because that's what my subwoofer um, like section is going to be for. I'm going to have two different cabinets up in the front located to the front. Oh no, my battery's dying. Shit. Okay, we're back now. So basically I was just giving you guys a rundown of the eights. Really impressed with them so far. I can't wait to hook them up, see how they sound. I really didn't need anything intense because like I was just saying, I'm going to have two separate cabinets for the subs right up to the front of the room. So I don't need to have my towers playing all the way down to 15, 20 hertz for those intense home theater moments. Uh, so that's why I chose to have these crossed over a little bit higher, tuned to a, a slightly higher frequency. And uh, if you guys don't know this already, every time you double in frequency, that's the next octave up. So let's say I tune these anywhere between 50 hertz. The next octave down is 25 hertz. So that's going to be perfect matching up with my other subs and to be tuned roughly in that area. So that's why I chose to have these slightly higher, but it's going to get the job done. So let's get a rundown of what we just went through. That is it in the box. So we got four of these eights, two per tower. It's pretty cool. We got six of these, but we're only putting five in the center channel. Really cool. Inverted dust caps, really rubber surround for uh, long lasting durability. And then we got some six, six more of these, so I can actually run active or passive. Uh, we're going to be having possibly a external uh, active crossover, the little Behringer, like you see in my Frankie, uh, the DCX 96, 2496. I'm not 100% sure because that is an investment. But guys, here's what it is, and it looks like they did not ship out. I got two little things for five bucks some uh, LCD TV speakers uh, for my Westinghouse here. Uh, just in case I want to have you know really low volume late night listening and just have the volume on my TV. The speakers that are in it right now are totally zonkers. Uh, sound like shit. So that's it guys. That is, that's what we're working with. And if you're wondering you know, why I take so long with my projects, I really like to plan. I am a huge fan of planning my shit out, making sure that my dimensions are 100% correct before I start cutting expensive wood. Even though NDF is only like, you know, 30 to 35 bucks a sheet, I don't want to go around just making stupid cuts, having to pay for it later by going back to the store. 
So that's why I, 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 you know, I wait, you know, sometimes weeks and weeks of just planning and uh, sometimes even more than that. So that's what it is really all about, guys. If you ever want to start a project like this or like Frankenstein, make sure you start with planning. Let it take months and months. Who cares? It'll always be there in the end for you, but make sure you don't rush it. So I'm going to really try not to rush this home audio install. It's my first one. I'm going to be making sure everything matches up nice, get the room all set up nice. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to be rushing it, guys. So that is the end of this video. I'm going to get everything all situated, put over there, and start number crunching some more. So until the next little update video, it should be in just a little while here. I got some other stuff going on too. This is EXO signing out. Ultra excited. Going to be sounding real good here. <laughs> woo -hoo! What's going on, YouTube? This EXO coming at you here in style. We got this thing all registered with some temporary plates waiting for the vanities to come in the mail. It's about 12 degrees outside. Frankie started up great, sitting there at idle, loving it. Our voltage is working out awesome with our Iraqi alternators, sitting at about 15 volts right there. Awesome. We've got to love this cold weather for your electrical, huh? Got all the shit off Frankie. It is just absolutely shit snow. Deadly snow. This stuff will cut you nice. So, uh,. There we go, we got everything running smoothly. We're gonna go up to VIP, get an inspection sticker today to make the final uh, road legal uh, aspect. You know, we're gonna finally make it today. This is, I'm not sure if it's gonna pass, but we're gonna hopefully, uh, you know, we're hoping for the best. So, okay, my fingers are already freezing, so let's get this bitch warmed up. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop the hood real quick. Pop the hood and shut the back hatch up. Gotta make sure everything's nice and tight. We'll get the guys up at the store a little listen to this. What do you say, huh? Let them hear a little bit of the crescendo power. All right, let's shut it up nice and tight. There we go. Take a look at how everything's spinning. I gotta replace my belt, but everything looks good. A little bit rusty. It's been over two years, you guys. Sorry I'm shaking, but the belt looks nice. It's got a little bit of a tear in it. I gotta replace it. <sighs> Old belt, but I got an extra one all, all ready to go. Damn it. Get an inspection. See how she does, guys. Get her on a lift. The bag is still doing good under there. Not much rust. Looking good. We'll see how she does. It is very heavy. That's why it's not going all the way up. She's a down south car, so she doesn't have much rust build up. Luckily. I'm not used to this. No? No. Nope. <laughs> I'm used to more of uh, this color everywhere. It looks good, huh? Underneath, yeah. Um, the only thing I see is the motors on the inside, man. Okay. Um, they don't, it looks like the pads that I'm making good enough. Contact? Yeah, sorry, I have a lot of things going on. That's okay. Right now, um, on this side, on the left hand side, on the right hand side, I mean, you do have plenty of pad there. Okay. Technically, I could set it for that, but I'm not gonna. I'm just way behind already. But just, just giving you a heads up. Okay. I would replace that. Rotor pads? Just at least the rotors. Okay. Maybe the pads. Okay. But you'll get your sticker today, man. Looks good? Yeah, you'll get your sticker. Awesome. Yeah. I know you've been out here for a while. That's okay. I'm a patient guy. Appreciate it. Thank you. I can finally tilt my camera this way, guys. Looks like we have got this under wraps inspection sticker. Oh, go. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Just got my inspection sticker all sorted out. So now I just pulled into the driveway. It's about to get dark any minute here. But uh, I figured before I leave, I'll jam up a little bit and see what it sounds like.
my god, you guys. I have to turn this shit off right now. Holy shit, that stuff was getting down. I, I, I'm being incomprehensible right now. The, that, that beat just freaking dropped crazy. I'm gonna play that one when I get back into it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go visit with my lady. I'm gonna go see how she's doing tonight. My freaking thing's frozen shut. Look at that. Oh my god. Frozen shut. All right, so this is EXO signing out until the next video. Crescendo Audio freaking making these subs. PSI, come alive! Yes! <laughs>